Police get their power from the U.S. Constitution, but around here, they act like it comes from God. Your name's Jay, right? Yes, sir. Well, Jay, I'm Lawrence Bradley with the FBI. Heard you got a little roughed up during the arrest. You okay? Yeah. And you have no obligation to talk to me. But son, I've been doing this job for 38 years. See more shit than a porta potty. And I know a career criminal when I see one. What I see right now is a scared teenager who got himself mixed up in something he shouldn't have. So, just help me understand how you got so caught up in all of this, and uh, we'll get you back home where you belong. Sure. Getting home sounds good to me. Well, good. All right, then. at home by dinner, you know? So you knew it would... We were together. I couldn't just leave. Okay. I understand. You should water your plants more. <laughs> You're right. I didn't even notice. So, let's talk about what happened after the motel. You've been through the ringer at this point. Your brother Dale's been killed. So you flee into the forest. Until I show up uh, with the local police. Then you abandon your family and run for it. Why'd you do that? Why'd you run? Why would I help Tyler with anything? I hate him. He lied to me. He used me. Well, thanks for telling me. 
takes a lot to stand up to your own flesh and blood. <laughs> My son's a linebacker. Got himself a full ride to ASU. <laughs> Do you like football? Not really. Well, he does. He's out there pursuing his dreams. That's what I want for you too, son. But here's the problem. Forensics has you at the sheriff's house. Witnesses have you at the motel. To get a deal, a, a way out, you need to give up something the DA doesn't already know. And there's only one thing big enough, and that's who made you do what you did that night. See, we had a lot of bodies inside that motel. Four police officers dead at the scene. Another two on life support. Not to mention Vincent Walker with your bullet in his leg. So tell me, who put you up to it? Tyler, he gave the orders. I just did what he said. <laughs> Make a note. Suspect has confessed to multiple murders at the Desert Dream Motel. He has also confessed to shooting Vincent Walker. Wait, that's not what I... You can discuss the finer points with the judge. You said... You said you'd help me. I am helping you. You're gonna feel a lot better now. What about pursuing my dreams? Like your son. That is son. This isn't even my office. Holy shit. All right, round two. Hey, you want to sub? I'm heading over the road. Oh.
tell her it's Are you in some kind of trouble? The cops, they think I did something. I didn't, but... What do they... I was there. I was part of it. But I swear, I, I didn't want to be. I didn't, and now they think... Uh... It's okay, Dean. I believe you. You do? I have good instincts. You're not that kind of person. Look, things have been shitty here, too. My dad's convinced you were a drug dealer. He found an old bag of weed in the drawer, and now I'm grounded for, like, half the... Salt Lake City? Near the... Okay, I'll book you a room. You can order... Ireland. Two years sober and Sorry, sorry, you, you can... I finally nod off and you try to bludgeon me to death with... Home. You left the window open. Take a shower, have a... Get dressed. You're leaving. Now. What? Wait, Paul!
that motel. Everything she worked for. You have to believe me. If I could turn back the clock... You didn't come here to apologize. I didn't know where else to go. Don't ask me. Please. Christ, look at me. I've been living like a damn stray, sleeping in ditches, eating from dumpsters. Last night, some... It's always the same with you. Won't give him the satisfaction. He knows what those sons of bitches did to Dale. My beautiful baby. All his life. <laughs> Sorry. But, Jay, at least he got away, right? Oh, you don't know. killing us all because of bear damn him how you saw your life turning out you. How I live is my business. If it makes you happy. Why are you even here? Talking hypotheticals. You're a wanted woman. You gotta leave. Get out of town. You know, Bear always said he'd take me away from Two Rock. Dante loved me for a while, too. Sharon, back then, everyone loved you. You once told me I always choose the wrong guy. Well, I was young and stupid enough to think you'd listen. And I was young and stupid enough to think I knew better. Should have been with you from the start.
It wouldn't have worked. Don't be sure. You've always been a good friend. When those thugs showed up at our door, when I had no one else to turn to, you were the one who stepped up. Now, wait a minute. I if you're talking about... You knew we were sinking. But coming up with the code to Dante's safe, that was... If, if I'd known what would... Oh, Jesus, I'd never have given... Oh, God. Oh, hell. I think we could both use a drink. Every part of me is screaming, yes, but if I taste one sip of that... Paul, I'm so sorry. That was... I should have known better. Look, nobody knows your part in this, and I swear it'll stay that way. But, and I hate saying this, I need your help. Sharon, I'm sorry. I can't. Not again. I'm begging you, please. Just hear me out. Please. That book of his? I looked a bit closer. It's not just bribes. Dante's been taking money from criminals and funneling it into a single offshore account. <sighs> the cash in his safe, that was just his cut. The real money's in a bank in Belize. And the details are right here. No name, no ID. All a person's gotta do is walk in, hand over the password, and walk out with the money. Can't be me. Life, but you. Then we expose Dante for what he is. Karma. Payback. Call it what you like. And by the time his world crumbles, we'll be long gone. Look, you say us being together wasn't meant to be. But I say this is a chance to change that. You can stay here in Two Rock and drink yourself into oblivion. You realize if we do this, we disappear. You'll never be able to see Jay again. That doesn't mean I can't help him. At some point, I'll find a way. You threw me a lifeline once. Now it's my turn. Come with me. Please, Paul, just listen to me. I've listened, but the answer is no. I can't do it. <gasps> Expecting anyone? No. Hey, cuz, it's me. <gasps> Open up. Shit, it's Dante.
<sighs> Fancy seeing you here. Hey, cool outfit. Uh, yeah, right. I was so busy packing for the road that I forgot what I was wearing. Can I come in? Uh -huh. <sighs> I thought you wanted to sleep. I didn't want them to have to make the bed. I took $200 from my dad's emergency fund. I also brought you a change of clothes. And tomorrow morning, I can drive you to the bus station and get you a ticket to wherever you want. And then we're even, okay? Even? You don't owe me anything. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm pretty sure I aced my history final. <laughs> You might be the nicest person I ever met. <laughs> I promise. I'm not that nice. Then why are you helping me? Look, if someone accused me of something I didn't do, my brother would have been right there in my corner. But when he was in trouble, I couldn't help him. So if I can help you somehow, what's wrong? It's just, if you... I'd have nobody now. Can you go to your family? To your mom, maybe? She ain't my And my brothers ain't my brothers. They told me the night I met you. My real mom was some aunt. I don't know who my dad was. Oh, Dean. Well. I just don't even know who I am anymore. I wish they hadn't told me. Except then, you'd be living a lie. Maybe from now on, family isn't the people you were born with. Maybe it's the people you choose. I saw that on a t-shirt. <laughs> it's a good t-shirt. Mm -hmm. That's not your room. Like hell it's not. My daughter's in there. Oh my god. How did he find me? You see this? That's my credit card that you need to go to this room. Now, open the door or I'm calling the police. Dad? What are you doing? Who else is here? Did you fucking follow me? How did you- You think I don't get a fraud alert when someone uses my card out of state? Now, answer the question. What are you doing in a Salt Lake City hotel? <laughs> Your business. What are you using? Is the neck? I don't mean. That's me. <laughs> 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 With enough shit in his system to kill a... No. I'm not doing this. You're coming home, 
And that's that. Well, can I at least pee first? Ugh. Do what you have to. Vanessa! You're making a huge mistake! Uh, Dale showed me once. But I think it's these ones. Ah! Okay, not those ones. sound crazy, but I think my daughter just ran off with a fugitive. taking over. I told you it's cool. I love driving. I should have done this ages ago. Run away from home. We should keep our eyes Anyone reports it stolen. So, you're really going to Canada? They got more protected lands than all 50 states combined, remember? I can fish, hike, live in the forest. The only thing is, how to get in. Well, my brother had a friend who moved to Idaho Falls. I bet he'd help us with gas money. Plus, he's really good with fake IDs. Idaho? That's a long way for you. I've got all weekend. We can stop in town for some clothes and call Todd from the payphone.
couldn't anymore. What happened to her? Officially, the big C in her pancreas. The doctor said it was just bad luck. I say it's what happens when you spend your life doing what someone tells you instead of standing up for who you are. Your dad? He was tough on her? On all of us. I still can't believe he followed me to Utah. He wants to be in control. He thinks I have the same shitty judgment my brother did. Do you? <laughs> I'm doing this, aren't I? I'll tell you one thing. He must be flipping his fucking lid right now. His little girl stealing a car. What's the worst thing you've ever done in your life? Shot a guy. Oh, me too, actually. I shoot people all the time. No, seriously. I shot a guy in the leg. Bullshit. Yeah, but you almost bought it. I never said he'd help you, but he'll help me. <laughs> I said open up. If he finds me, we're both fucked. Tell him to go away. Stall him. Anything. Be right there. Hurry up and stop playing with yourself.
Ain't waiting out here like a prick. Get your pants on, I'm coming in. Sorry. Hi, I, uh... What's with the kitty bike out front? That? Just fixing it up for Joyce's kid. Not much, but... After what he's been through... Right. The fire. Tools and whatnot. Sure. I thought you might need them. Uh... Jeez. <laughs> it's darker than a dungeon in here. Look, uh... Didn't mean for that to become such a... Clusterfuck. Holtz opened a big can of worms when they stole from me. If I don't get everything back, well, I'm just as screwed as they are. So, you got any uh, plans now that the motel's gone? Or are you just gonna shut yourself away forever like Grandma did? Find something different? Yeah, gardening maybe. Change of career, sure. You know, I was almost an analyst for the FBI. Fucking desk job. <laughs> Imagine it. Ah. Leaders gets a whiff of you. Oh boy. It's me will be in the doghouse, huh? Well, you look like. Uh, I bet we could both use a coffee, right? Uh -huh. Sit down. I get it. When I first joined the department, Sheriff assigned me coffee duty. <laughs> Had to make a pot every morning. Oh, that guy was fucking picky. Yeah. Back then, I believed it was about making a difference. But being a good guy ain't always so simple. Because when you got some crazy asshole and you can't tell if he's holding a Bible or a gun, what do you do? Hmm? You knew I was in Cross your mind to ask about me? If you mean to... So, little Birdie told me you were at the station earlier. Those fellas from the DA's office. Just, you know, asking what I could remember about uh, about the motel and all that stuff with the, with the bus. They wanted your opinion on whether I'd lost my damn mind, didn't they? Uh, 
It was a lot of questions. I, I can't... Uh -huh. And what was your professional opinion? I said maybe I don't understand. Oh, I understand perfectly. I'm sure you told them exactly what they wanted to hear, didn't you? Those bastards were about to head to Mexico with a bus full of hostages. I fucking did something. And what did I get for it? Electrocuted in a damn bathroom. That's what. No, the goddamn FBI involved. Even Becky hates my guts. Yeah, I do my best by her, but guess it'll never be enough. What a week. Hmm. But Sharon... Eh, she'll get what's coming to her. Whatever rock she's under, I'll find her. So help me God. Behind you! Look out! Uh, 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 <sighs> you dumb, stupid, gullible fool! I'm not. You're just gonna have to kill me. Don't think I won't do this, Sharon. I'm taking you in to answer for what you've done. You and me both know. Why you're taking me in? No! And you ain't getting it. the account. These people... Paul, how could you do this to
Luigi, she'll give you the book. We can do a deal, right? Let us go. We, we won't tell no one about it. Paul, it ain't over yet. We can make it. You'll never... I know she made you do this, Paul. <sighs> Look, I'm giving you a get out of jail card here. After Nam, I swore I'd never hold one again. And you know that. Don't give me that flower power crap. Just give me the gun. Wait. Stop her! Whatever else I might have done, Paul... The two of us could have saved some help. Hey, Sheriff. Your old boy turned up in Utah with some girl in tow. FBI, you're in pursuit. Out. <sighs> What is it? It's for headaches. I think it's ecstasy. Have you done it? No. Have you? No, but my dad already thinks I'm a drug fiend, so what the fuck?
ça Last person I expected to show up asking for a favor. Well, I'm full of surprises. What will he give me for it? Oh man, you are so freaking tall from down here. What are you looking at? Dean, what are you doing? You know this guy? So what if I do? We go to school together, in Arizona. Well, whoop de doo fucking do. Now get out of my room, or get out of the party. Dean, please, I'm all right. Buddy, she's asking you to leave. Sorry if that hurt your feelings or something, but it's what she wants. Be a good My party and start this shit here. You started this, Dean. Please, let's just go. <laughs> Dean, it's time to go. You're one jealous fuck. Well, guess what? She was mine first. That's right, walk away, fucking pussy. Are you crazy? Starting a fight with him?
He disrespected you. And I handled it. Why did you tell me he was your brother's friend? Because I thought you'd get upset if you knew I'd gone out with him for a while. Lee, I was right. He could have helped you if you trusted me. We should... But tomorrow, we're done. I'm gonna find somewhere to camp. Don't follow me. Wait! We shouldn't go too far from the car. Ugh. That house you robbed? Was that all it was? A burglary? Look, I need to tell you something. My name's not Dean. It's Jay. Okay. And it wasn't just any house. It was Sheriff Romero's. I didn't know that till we got there. But Sheriff came home, we ran, got holed up at this motel on Route 66. You're one of them. The family from the news. I didn't want to be there. It wasn't my idea. But the cops don't care about that. They're blaming me for all of it. People died in that motel. Not because of me. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry. Please don't leave. Give me one reason not to. Back at the hotel, when you actually showed up, I couldn't believe it. But that's when I knew. Knew what? That you're the kind of person someone like me doesn't deserve to have around. You're smart. You're funny. Loyal. Think for yourself. You come from a good family. Stop it. None of that's true. Yes, it is. All of it. Me? I'm just what you think I am. My family's poor. People say I'm no good. That I'm too quiet. 
or I'm always screwing things up. So maybe you should leave. But I really don't want you to. Look, I don't care what the police think you did, or what your family did. I came to Salt Lake today because I like you. And I don't like a lot of people. And I meant what I said before. <sighs> when you said you were heading for Canada. I thought, why not? Maybe I should go too. You did? I haven't had a life in Two Rocks since the day my brother died. My dad's like this prison guard whose job is making sure I never make a friend, never take a risk. Every single on the fuck away. Instead, I sit around in that stupid uniform helping Mima waiting for permission. Well, you know what? I don't need permission, but violence? I just can't. So swear. Swear you'll never hurt someone like you hurt Todd tonight. I swear. Okay. Then I forgive you. Now, let's get some sleep. We've got a long day tomorrow. So, Jay, huh? Yeah, like a blue jay. It's nice. What's your last name? Holt. Holts have been in Turok over 150 years. Sounds like you're proud to be part of that. I was, but that's over now. It's like you said, I make my own choices from here on out. Now, I'm finally free. Be advised, the teenager seen at 1281 Elmfield this evening is the same one being pursued by the FBI. Consider him armed and dangerous.
know, you just run her either way, it's just whether or not you auto it. Oh, this is like, don't take a swing. Oh. Oh, no, this is, oh, no, no, you're right. This is, I've already taken a swing. So I also want to know if there's like Everybody does a little dance with the devil And everybody's got a little hole in the middle Everybody does a little dance with the devil 